Hello everyone! In this video, I'm going to simplify sensitivity and specificity. We're going to understand these terms by running our new diagnostic test for disease X. We're running this on two groups of people. In the first group, we have 10 people who actually have the disease X and in this group, there are 10 people who don't. After running our test, these are what the results look like. In this group of 10 people with disease X, 9 tested positive and 1 tested negative. In this group of 10 healthy people, 8 tested negative and 2 tested positive. Our test has correctly identified the disease in these 9 people, so they are categorized as true positive. Out of this bunch, 8 people who don't have the disease X are correctly tested negative, so they are true negatives. This one person who actually has the disease is falsely given the result as negative, so this person will be classified as false negative. Finally, these two people who originally are healthy but are tested positive for the disease come under the category of false positive. Ideally, a test should identify everyone with the disease as positive and everyone who doesn't have the disease as negative. Unfortunately, this isn't always the case. So, we can decide how good a test is by looking at the sensitivity and specificity. When we say that a particular test is 96% sensitive, we mean that if we test 100 people who have a particular disease, 96 of them will be tested positive using that test. These 96 people are true positives. The remaining 4 people who are missed by this test are false negatives. So, our numerator here will be true positives and our denominator will be a sum of true positive and false negatives. When we say that a test is 98% specific for a particular disease, we mean that if 100 people who do not have that disease are tested, 98 of them will be tested negative. The remaining two who are tested positive, although they are healthy, will be false positives. So, the numerator here will be true negative and the denominator will be a sum of true negative and false positive. I remember these by the following clues. In sensitivity and specificity, the truth is always on top. So, true positive or true negative will always be the numerator. As doctors, we should always be sensitive towards people who are truly ill. So, sensitivity will have true positive as the numerator. Logically, specificity will have true negative as the numerator. Screening tests should always have a high sensitivity because we don't want to miss out on anyone who truly has the disease so that everyone who has the disease can be treated. On the other hand, confirmatory tests have a high specificity because we should always know which disease we're treating. If a person who undergoes a test with high sensitivity for a particular disease and is tested negative, it will help us rule that disease out. And if a person who undergoes a test with high specificity for a particular disease, if tested positive, will help us rule that disease in. From this formula, we can also remember that sensitivity is equal to 1 minus the false negative rate and specificity is 1 minus the false positive rate. My Laoshi at university told us a trick to remember this. N in sensitivity corresponds to the N in negative and P in specificity corresponds to the P in positive. 
Try using our example here to find out the sensitivity and specificity of our new diagnostic test for the disease X and let me know what your answers are. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.